Are you going? I am going, man. I um. I Welcome forgot back my to Bottom of the Barrel. Hey, oh. Sorry. Oh, you're you're talking to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was that was to way them. more important. Uh, oh, I forgot my beer again. I was I was leaving home. I'm like, I can't forget a beer because I know. Oh, I just got a nice little scotch there. Yeah, feels okay. good. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh man, you, you should have sent me that. <laughs> Shouldn't have sent me that big order of booze way back when the pandemic started. And uh, are you still are you still on? I'm that? still chipping away, man. No, no, of I course thought not. You'd, I thought you'd plow through that thing real quick. Oh, I went right through it. I, I got called an alcoholic today on YouTube in the comments. First time. That's not bad. <laughs> By whom? Just some rando. I don't know. What do you say? Saying. You're an alcoholic. Just looks like you're getting. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're getting uh, sunburnt and getting uh, an, uh, alcoholism or something. Yeah. He's uh, right. So it was like it was like real. Yeah, I was like, that's too. Didn't close even to home. feel like a joke. <laughs> no, it's like when everyone, when anyone, ever someone calls me fat, I go, oh fuck, because it's like. Yeah, there's because there's a difference between like it. It being a joke when you're like, okay, you're an alcoholic now, you know, and then being like, I think you have alcoholism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of them's funny. That's what uh, I mean. And both of them are funny to me, by the way. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. you know, it hurts my heart a little bit. Sometimes people will be like, freeze here, look at his gut. And you're like, ah, oh, so right, so true. Yeah, that's so why I showed that. mine openly on last podcast. Yeah, and honestly, just love for it. No one said anything bad. They're like, Good a lot you. of people being like, loving the dad bod. Saw that. So, I so mean, Chris does read you know, the that's, that's, that's the thing. Cause the girls, that's what they talk about. You know, that right? they talk about surprise bodies. Is that guys? Not so much. We see, we see the curves of a, of a lady yeah. by what they're wearing. I mean, mind you some, you know, more voluptuous women like to wear flowy clothes. So it makes it kind of hard to right. tell what's going on under there. <laughs> but uh guy, we're really good at hiding it. And uh, that's the thing that girls talk about. They're like uh surprise bod. But do they she's mean like, like she's like, I don't oh. want a surprise bot. I want to know what I'm working ah. with. So it's like you look at me, right? Yeah, you look great. I I could legit have a six pack and a killer body. Yeah. Not the case. <laughs> you know? But that's a surprise bot. So I can keep this a surprise I'm an honest guy. So I like to let you know what you know what you're working with up front. Chris? What you see isn't what you get. Sometimes when we go away together, like in February, where we were all over the map, I ne I didn't look down for a whole month. It was a surprise bod to me too. <laughs> Come March, I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah I mean, got so fat. I got so fat. I got a surprise penis now. <laughs> oh my god. That's yeah. I spent ninety five percent of the time in the shower washing my dick. It's very clean. That's about yeah. it. The rest of it, very minimal on the rest. You just gotta. You, know. you, you can show me a picture of my dick. I wouldn't be able to recognize that as a lineup right now. <laughs> You're you're like who sent me this? It's like My that's your own dick. Felon. He'd still be on the loose. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Uh, I, oh. I, I I'm glad I pre-drank this one. Yeah, I feel like I dr I've drank, but oh, I've just been man. sun drunk. We had that meeting. Yeah, I was at. I mean, I shot a video this morning. Started editing. Dipped in the pool. Our meeting. Mark called me after more meetings. Oh man. And this. Yeah. It's perfect. It's a good day. It's a good busy day. Yeah, I feel uh, yeah, feeling good too. I just been What's editing up? and shot another video, so I got I shot a sketch. So I got I, Kristen's back in it. She's been out for a couple of weeks, so yeah, it's gonna be yeah. Good. We were all wondering what happened to her. It was like I, I got the comments are like yeah, exactly yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. That's the new thing on TikTok. It's the new trend with like how Bl Mandel. You see his crazy videos? No, Blink they're twice. so fucking dude. They're off putting. He's so randomly weird in them. You're like. <laughs> And people are looking for hidden messages because he wrote something, and they're like five five. That is the district of the police uh, uh, department in his area. He's this is a call for help. And then the comments what? are like, "If you're kidnapped, wear black. If you're in your own home, wear white. If you're uh, if the assailant is aggressive, wear blue." And then he would wear one of those colors, and people and that gets, she got like forty thousand likes on that comment. And then it would just keep going on. There's this crazy rabbit hole that I followed of like Howie Mandel being held hostage in his house. Turns out he's just fucking weird because he's a 60 year old man on TikTok. I mean, that's yeah, <laughs> the Dude. most viable explanation. 
if I wasn't your friend, I would listen to this podcast just to learn. Because every time I sit down with you, you're, like after I left last time, I went and watched a bunch of Kanye stuff, but I'm losing his damn mind. Like I, you'd That's love great, to know. Wasn't it? Yeah, I literally get all my information from you, so <laughs> I might be yeah. very weird in a few months. This is something to look into. Uh, and then Dobrik, David Dobrik, put up a small story about how he went to his house and he comes out in like these gloves and this like plexi shield because he's a germaphobe. And he's like, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine. Oh, which is super weird. Also, I feel like you could be saying that with a gun to your head. Oh my god, man! I yeah. Hmm. I was I was worried when I was on America's Got Talent. I was backstage with Howie Mandel's jacket, like it, the the wardrobe just wheeled it out and it was sitting right there. And I was like, should I put a card in his pocket or? And then I'm like, because I could have, but I'm like, would he freak out on like when I'm out there being like, I don't know what if he gets like grossed out by like. Because he's such a germaphobe. Will he be like, well, why he is it on me? He wouldn't appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, from what I know. He, would, he wouldn't appreciate He would do it. Uh, yeah. He would take the card, but afterwards wash his hands. He probably wouldn't like it a lot. So uh, I met yeah. him in an elevator at Toronto. Yeah, I was at a gig in it. Toronto. And I uh, was in the elevator. He was wearing like basketball shorts. I guess he was coming from the gym or something. And there was like <laughs> three not. other people. Yeah. Uh, neither was I. Uh, there was like <laughs> three other people. And I was in a suit. You know, I was looking good. I was going to perform. And they were like, oh my God, can we take a picture? I just didn't like, I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. In hindsight, yeah. I wish I had been that guy. Yeah. It's always, that's yeah. always the case. <laughs> I'd always play it cool, right? I'm like, I don't need a picture. I don't want to be that guy. And then afterwards, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, everyone else got photos. Like, I meant how, like, this is me telling you the story. Like, it means yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're like, show me a picture of his basketball shorts. Don't. Yeah. It's just a fucking stupid story now. It's a stupid story waste... that's uncorroborated. You didn't waste any time with Olivia Wilde that time. You're like, yep, yeah, photo. <laughs> did we get one? I didn't yeah. get one. Who was it? No, it's you. You got one. No, I did get a photo. Yeah. Olivia Wilde and uh, you're the only one who did because you were Jason sitting right Sudeik. next. To, anyway, yeah. It wasn't Jason Sudeikis, was it? Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was yeah. Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. <laughs> it was the best. They were, Chris, yeah. like that's Jason Sudeikis. I'm like, no, it's not. Then he like comes over. Yeah. He's like, they, had a, doing they magic? had a great night. Those yeah, two, yeah, they were. They before, were on their before way. Before we got there, like after yeah. we got there, the night just was all downhill. Orbit ruined it for us. <laughs> the 20 minute, 20, 23 minute car trick. 20, 23 minute car trick. The least, the least chill car trick. <laughs> to, to remember these 23 cards. And it's like, man, card is so fast. Why are you doing such a long magic trick? This is horrible. <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, yeah, man. I don't have any agenda today. I didn't write anything down. I just, I'm here free flowing, living it up. That's what it's about, man. Yeah. I feel like um, that too. And I've been too stressed, so who you, cares? No, no, no. There is something to talk about. Mm. Wes had a show. Oh my God! A private show in BC, and let me. Okay, I'm gonna read you the text. <laughs> so you won't be seeing me in frame here. I'm just gonna read you the text. Jesus. Because uh, we got pictures and everything. You can actually put up these pictures and them. Uh, probably not, but I won't put up the pictures. I don't think. Uh, maybe a second, I gotta, man. We're really active on this group chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we're flying. That's All way right, the funniest goes, thing in my life. Text start off as this. Uh, I'm like, hey, how's it going? He's like, fucking half are kids at my show today. They never warned me, starting in five minutes. This is how it starts. <laughs> Sends me a picture. And he's like, this is the stage, I guess. Which happened to be like Elton John's old home. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's just like... like beautiful backyard, but there's like five people standing there. Yeah, but it's like also to the deck, and then it's like 10 feet of bushes, and then the crowd's going to be yeah. down there. Which is good for social distancing, but bad for comedy. <laughs> Eric texts, this text pleases me immensely. Um, and Eric's like, just be slapstick funny. He's like, a drop a prop on the ground six times in a row. Uh, and then, hold on, it gets better here. It's a winner. 45 minutes in the heat, no volunteers allowed on stage because COVID, <laughs> slight breeze to blow my props away. Uh, here's, so here's how this, here's how this went down. <laughs> oh. Um, always keep cardiographic in the bottom of my case for situations like this. A cardiographic is like, is this here? You have one on you? Yeah, yeah, I got a mini one. Great. So it's like the, the, you draw, you draw a box of, uh, of cards or something and then it starts to, uh, slowly. Okay. Sometimes faster than slow, whatever. It starts to rise and then you can give them this piece of paper. You can take it and give that to them. Great trick. Great trick for stage stuff. And uh, it goes, always keep cardiographic in the, in the bottom of my case for situations just like this. But nobody is taking a card. 
just stop here and remember this one. And my gimmick is the seven of hearts. So his, his card that he has to force, right, is the seven of hearts. And uh, turns out they remembered the seven of diamonds. <laughs> Any and other they time, loudly, oh, fuck, and they loudly go, no, it's the other <laughs> red one. That's wrong. <laughs> and then he writes, and then the wind blew my cup of slush powder. Okay. <laughs> I don't even care for revealing this. Uh, oh, there's a slush, okay. there's like this slush powder that you put water in and you go like this and nothing comes out. But because the wind blew his powder over, he only had a bit of powder. And so the water mixed in, it wasn't enough to expand and stick to the sides of the cup. So when the spectator went like this, he just had a bunch of slush plop onto the spectator's head. That's, that's what I finished with, too, dude. That's how I finished oh, the show. And I didn't so even good. tell you guys, but I bought balloons because I don't get my normal balloons because of COVID. So I bought some random balloons online and I couldn't blow them up for my balloon swallowing trick. I was hopping and right. puffing into nothing. It was, it was a bad day. They liked it, though. They liked it. Thanks for sharing. That was great. I mean, I... I thoroughly enjoyed those texts. <laughs> I was reading them and just imagining everything going wrong, especially the slush powder. That's the funniest uh, thing because, you know, already the way this trick works is that you have uh, two cups of water, right? You got two, two cups of water and you're like a do as I do, say as I say type thing. They put the cup on their head, yeah. uh, you're like close your eyes and or when you're turning around, you just dump your water, right? So the gag yeah. is you're going like this and it's empty. And then they do it, and we're all expecting water to come out on his head. That's the whole trick. And nothing happens, which is great magic. But what's funnier is when the <laughs> substance that comes out of the glass onto this man's head is worse than water. It's worse. <laughs> Jelly gloop. Yeah, just mush gloop. That's probably fucking oh. toxic to some extent. Oh, probably. It's going to dye his I mean, hair for sure. Like he's I've done that so there. much because it's exactly what the audience is expecting. Yeah, but, but not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this guy, to his face, his poor face, just like you didn't know. Like, <laughs> did I crack an egg on his head? He had no idea. <laughs> how did you wait? How did this trick end? I said, "Thank you very much," and I just like pointed off the stage, and he walked away. No, like, like he going like said, this. Thank you. Did they applause? <laughs> uh, I, I had I had the uh, the applause uh, pose, so they they clapped because they're supposed to. No one liked it. They just sort of, they don't know what happened. And uh, that, that, was the, that was the end of the show? I changed water to bird shit, end of the show. Yeah. And like, you ended with that? Yeah. Hard out. Goodbye. You didn't like, nope. hey, maybe one more since that nope. one didn't do That was right. my one more because the other shit was going so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was having, and I'm, I, you go to Shen, it's straight in the heat. You know me. Look at my complexion. I'm profusely sweating. <laughs> I'm red, right? Like I'm, I just like I just look like the guy that they're like, ugh, like they just watch me. They're like, ugh. You look I like that guy in the skit blue. that we once did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I had a dark blue shirt on, and you could still see me sweating through it. That's how bad it was. <sighs> Anyways, glad I don't have to oh, relive that again. Hurts. Yeah, dude, that was so bad. Oh. Yeah, and then Eric came over for a couple days over to my place. That That's fun. amazing. I was so jealous. I was like, ah, it's so far yeah. away. Hung out, got a video done. It was it was kind of cool. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, man, I'm just like, I don't know. These days, man, I'm like beyond friggin' busy. Yeah, even Eric seems like he's down. I'm gonna go see him next week, and we're making videos too. Like he's you're going busy. to Muskoka, right? Up in yeah, something like that. Cool. An hour and a half north of me, or wherever they said. So sick. Yeah, I, I'm pumped. So uh, any, anytime, anytime Eric's girlfriend's gonna pay for things, I'm in. I'll I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want to go to cottage? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love, you know. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm happy staying home. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Not, that's fair. I don't have to pay for something. Yeah, that's true too. I, I want to. That. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait, man. Once this pandemic's over, get your wallet out, Chris. We're going, we're going places. It's been, ready. it's been getting, dude, I'm, I do the stupidest purchases though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like. Did you say so... that you bought a pirate coin or something? Yeah. <laughs> That's a text I get. I just literally just transfer my, my landlord, you know, some money for rent. Chris spends that exact same amount of money uh, on, on a gold <laughs> coin from a pirate ship. Yeah. Well, it was we from different lives. In we 1700s. Different lives. <laughs> and I'm, for what reason? I, 
I was on the okay. I was on the eBay fucking thing, going back and forth between a few coins. Yeah. For for forty five minutes. <laughs> because it was so such a ridiculous, stupid purchase. Yeah. That it took forty five minutes of me self convincing myself. I I, ah. I closed the app like twice during that time. <laughs> Did nothing else but go back into it and look at it again. And for, seriously, a good 45 minutes till I finally pulled the trigger. Um, oh, my God. Instant regret. Chris. I'm not, I'm not reimbursing it, though. I'm going to get it. It's going to be a gold coin. Chris, this is going to be you when you coin. get it. You're going to go, yes, you're going to go, oh. And you're <laughs> never going to look at it again. <laughs> yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. Then I'm going to steal it one day. That's all that's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. No, you're not gonna steal yes, it. Yes, you won't even know it's gone. I was actually like Eric had a good suggestion in our in our group chat. I had like, that suggestion. You you did because that was that's what I was originally thinking. Ah. I was gonna give you guys a pirate puzzle. Ah. And and in the puzzle was a bunch of like I've got these like metallic coins that are props. Yeah. And I I was gonna like just throw it in there and be like, <laughs> you can choose the coins or oh. whatever's in this envelope. Oh, that would have been and so all good. All of you would have went for the envelope. A hundred percent. And it would have been like a couple hundred bucks. Oh, but then I would be like, oh, so you missed good. out on this $2,000 coin. <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been so good. Yeah. Uh, well, you have to buy another Can't one sometime. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. You can still get Alex with it. I don't even know why, like, uh, here's, like, I'm not, I, I don't collect coins. And d- during this 45 minute process in my head, I'm like, is this the start of my coin collection? <laughs> hey, that was one go. of the roads I went down. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm not a coin collector. Well, you got one. But if I were, and then I go back, I'm like, maybe this is the next one I'll get. And I started looking at other ones just to like see how the collection yeah. would look like if I had two. Uh. Like two's not enough, you know. So I'm like, I don't yeah, know. when does the collection I don't, I don't know where this leads me. I don't know where this leads me. Um, but I, I know that. I think it's. I mean, it holds its value, right? It's a piece of gold. That's from a bar that's what I'm. Like, it's matter. definitely. Ian's calling me. N, decline. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ian, just talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about a change bag, and then Ian later describes a change bag. And we're like, <laughs> so it's still a change bag? <laughs> we were in the, we, okay, so like these creative meetings we have with the TV show, we got to come up with like 200 tricks. And we got to come up with the methods and how we build them and how we perform them and uh, the camera angles and the, the script and everything, right? Which is crazy. It's so good. And we got this one bit. I won't talk about the bit, but it involves a change bag where they put items in a bag, we mix it up, and their item goes into a secret compartment, you know, and then it's a different item, perhaps. Yeah. Very easy. So I was like, yeah, we could just use change bag for that. Not three minutes later, Ian's like, so what if, what if we had a bag, right, that has a secret compartment? Okay. And so they could put their thing, like he just reinvented the change oh. bag on our call. <laughs> so and I'm like, but good change, for him. Change bag. He yeah. created a change bag. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That's kind of what's wrong with the magic community, though. Yeah, that's true. Because everything that's out is just things yeah. that already exist. I got a great kind message from someone the other day, and they described this elaborate method for something, and he's like, I know it's original, and I'm like, that's not original. Like, that's just been that done a thousand good? times. I was just like, I, I made me feel, I don't know, the, the rest of the message was so nice, I'm just like, ah, oh, this is too bad that this method is like, yeah, yeah. I don't know, ah. it's just kind of, it always happens, every time. It's I get a lot of those uh, emails and DMs and that I, I honestly don't answer you know, 99% of them and not because, you know, any, you any, any of the reasons I can't be invested in so many things like, like stretch yeah. for time. But well, you barely reply to our messages when we hit you up. So. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. And I, I, I know that you guys understand that. That yeah, if I'm not totally. responding, there's a reason to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Even if the reason is I just don't feel like it right now because I'm taking a break from everything. Like that's fine too. Yeah. That's totally fair. You know, I, I want to fuck off email by the way. Yeah, I keep thinking about this. Like, what do we have this for? I would for? love Some to archaic... boycott emails. Yeah, I keep having to go, why am I having an email? If you need me, hit me up. Yeah, everything like, links to everything. We don't need... 99% of my inbox is garbage, notifications, yeah. things Fair. that I'm too lazy to unsubscribe from, and just like a lot of like messages from strangers. And I'm like, yeah. I don't have time to read these. I don't have time to respond to them. The very, like, there's very, very few emails that come through, maybe one out of a thousand that are important to me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, yeah. I I mean, even for like, I don't, even for gigs and stuff, even, even like proper, like corporate high level gigs, 
they end up just it eventually just leads to them texting me stuff for calling you or texting. yeah calling me and like i'm like we don't need this other thing like yeah, e- it's, emails are fucking bogus man I, yeah. I think they're and there's so many they cause so many problems yeah like cc'ing someone you didn't mean to oh yeah that's true i mean none of that you can't retract an email you know what i mean no. it's so fucking definitive but so yeah like, that's it yeah I, yeah i remember Especially when email was... chains dude when you get caught up in a chain yeah and then you gotta reply or reply all find. or add someone to it and then someone's in there that you sh- or like you get a fucking email with a hundred other emails on it because they didn't bcc them yeah and then you know you're just you're just like all of a sudden you're flooded with all these well that's just it and i mean i feel like uh I, i've had an email address for 22 years like it's got to be something better out there now i know there's certain jobs that email is probably the best thing for you but for yes. me i'm like yeah i i don't think that like, like I mean, my agent should probably have an email, email. <laughs> but, but even with emails like yeah. i mean it, you, there's a work email yeah yeah, yeah. you know that's if you true. work for a company you have a work yeah, email. you definitely to, don't need a personal uh, email i feel like i don't need my email yeah i feel like i could have a generic email and just give the password to my manager mm-hmm. um and they could just you know sift sift through it because i feel like it's that's such true. a waste of just everybody's time not just my own yeah i don't know i like it fuck emails basically is what i'm saying <laughs> i hear that fuck your regards uh, best regards who fucking says that dude shut the fuck up yeah i'm so sick of i always just go that. thanks wes yeah i don't i just go cr like cr sent from iphone <laughs> that's right, yeah i mean because there's like no it makes no sense it already says everything about it like they already know where it's coming from yeah Best wishes, best regards, kind <laughs> oh, no. kindest regards. Uh, magically yours. Ma- Whoa, what, really? <laughs> I've seen some magician emails like that. Of course they have. <laughs> I, I never even crossed my mind. Oh, man. What did, um, oh, man. Oh, uh, you remember Kreskin? Yeah. Yeah, like old school, whatever. Yeah. The, what do they call that? I don't even know what he does. But anyways, he, uh, he signed a letter one time uh, to me, he's how he has signs everything, but he's like ESP in capitals, but for especially yours, that's how he signed it. Like ESP actually. It's like mind yours. reading. Yeah, and I was like. That's so oh. niche and. Oh, I'm like, cool. That's very inside baseball. Yeah, I was like, and Shredder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, uh, I can't even imagine school. how cringe like a lot of magicians' emails are with that stuff. Yeah, no. But what's okay. even more cringe than magicians is is like the corporate people that reach out to you. Because yeah. they're legit just as excited about magic as, as somebody who just got into magic. They're like, yeah. well, we think what would be really cool for our event is if you floated in. Oh, fuck. And then uh, also if you could dress up like an oh. astronaut because we're doing a space theme. Like they have all these Always fucking Always trying to theme it. Like, oh, oh, oh I get one a lot too where they're like, oh, and then like maybe you could, uh, we could uh, dress you up like one of the waiters and then it could just be like a surprise and all of a sudden you're a magician and they didn't even know. Or like come disguised as like one of the guests and then all of a sudden you're like, I'm like, no. Like the last thing they need, magic's weird enough without adding a layer of like, are you supposed to be doing magic right now, dude? Like, yeah, it's so weird. I did it once. Because and I'm that like, Never moment again. of reveal, we're like, no, I'm actually the magician. They hired me. Everybody's like, okay, like, yeah, okay. Well, mean, why I do you? Guess. Why are you dressed like the janitor yeah, then? Still don't believe you. Pretty sure you're you know janitoring. I mean? Yeah, it's not good. Well, why? Hey, yeah. the, I think the idea of it is is a good idea to be like, oh, surprise magic. But like, in the actual context, they don't know how awkward it is. Right. To just be a magician. Like, I see how they got there, but it doesn't need to be there. Yeah. Because there's always that barrier, man, of performing for people where you feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> even <laughs> like, sometimes... You're so sugarcoating it. You're even, just like, yeah. do, do, do. hey, I'm going to make a funny joke here. Hold on, let me slide in. <laughs> as confident as I am, and as, and as, and as well as I've, I've been doing, I'll still go to corporate events for walk-around magic, and I'll still get there, and I'll still, like... I, I, just I don't even know... I don't even know. How, yeah, just I just want to hide the bathroom. Like, yeah. I don't know where to. Like, uh, you know, in other days I'm know, a little drunk and I don't care. But oh man. Yeah, because the, once you're in it, obviously yeah. you're having fun and you find the group of people that you love yeah. and just end up sticking with them, anyways. Um, you know, and, and the group gets bigger and bigger. But that initial, you know, it, if you're if I'm in a bar having a beer and I see you over there and I'm like, hey, look at, come here, watch this. That's yeah. great. That's great. I'm That's just the best. a stranger. You're a stranger. We're gonna connect. Perfect. Yeah. But now I'm like, hey, I'm going to interrupt you. 
Yeah. All right. And I'm going to wow you. Yeah, they're like, no, didn't ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Didn't ask for this. I'm already being wowed by the amazing conversation uh, I'm having with my totally close right. and personal friends. Yeah. Please fuck off. You know, that's yeah. the, you get that a lot. You yep. get that a lot. And you have to I break find, that barrier yeah. down. If I can find like a lonely person at the bar um, or in the, in the, in the party, I'm like, oh, great. They'll, they'll probably be down. But even they're like, I'd rather just be on my phone right now. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not uh, yeah, talk uh, to you uh, or okay, be seen I'll be, around I'll you. Go, I'll go over here. Yeah. Because yeah. then there's also the people... I feel like if I were part of that company and I'd be like, I'd kind of be like, I feel like, okay, I'm a lay person. I'm in charge. This is my party. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the, you know, the boss around here type thing. This is my turf. And I see you impressing all the people that I've day in, day out been trying to impress for X amount of time. Yeah. And you're getting away with it so whimsically. Yeah. And being snarky and stuff, I just feel like fuck off. Like, yeah, no, you're probably right. Fuck, fuck out of here. Let yeah, if you're the funny guy at the office, you must suck so bad when a magician comes or something. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, That's oh, what I'm man, saying. This is my wheelhouse. But those are the I people who we guy. meet. Yeah. That's true. who we meet. We meet the guy being like, let me shuffle that. <laughs> like, those are them. Yeah. And we're just like, that guy's an asshole. You're actually the asshole in this situation. Well, yeah, and they're Poor always guy. like, bring Derek on stage. He's so funny. And then you're like, uh, I don't think I want Derek on stage because I don't think he's yeah. going to enjoy this. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, well, at least we don't have to do that anymore right now because we can't. So that's fun. We just have yeah. sweaty, sweaty backyards dumping slush powder on people's heads. That's all we got. That's so. pretty funny. Dude, I haven't performed. Years. Paid magic in, yeah. Like, yeah. possibly two years. That's crazy to me. It's flown by so fast. And the more I think about it, the crazy. Like, I'm not you give all your gigs to Eric, or where do they go? I don't get any of these things. I know you gave one to Alex. Give one to Eric. Yeah, I've given. I think I've sent some one. your way I'll as well one. in the past. They probably looked yeah. me up after. And then, uh, um, hard again, time. I don't answer a lot of them. And if I feel For like sure. they're, sometimes I feel like uh, they're like they're, they're they're you know like budget wise and stuff. I don't feel like I, I don't want to respond to someone who's a who's a massive fan and is like, hey, can you perform at my wedding? Right. And be like. This is what this is gonna cost to get me over there and like take me away from what I'm doing for three days. Yeah, you're just like you know funerals I mean? like, only. Funeral, I'll be there. I got your funeral. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I, I don't want to respond to that because I don't want to be like. Yeah. yeah what do you ask for? And they're, like, and they're like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, I know. That's I didn't want to. I'm sorry. You know, like it's such a weird, stupid spot. That's right. I, I just I, I dropped a prima nocta in there to see how many Braveheart fans we have. We'll find out. But. um it's uh, I got this really fucking funny message earlier, and I was like, oh. it just struck me so weird. It was a comment on the last video, and it was like, <laughs> I just found you guys last week and have been binge watching everything. Can you can you and Chris comment on Chris D'Elia losing his Netflix prank show and how that might affect your guys' show on this week's podcast? I'm like, don't know Chris D'Elia? How would anything about his show affect our show? And B. I didn't even know he had a prank show. Yeah, me neither. I'm like learning things and wondering. Like, I, yeah. sorry, man. Like, and, no and, idea. <laughs> and C, I mean, there's a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't just lose it out of thin he air. Just, he didn't just evaporate. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Look at, just, just Google. Just Google it. Google's your friend on this one, I feel. Yeah, Google's your friend for sure. Go down the rabbit hole and find out. Yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah, and I got a couple more questions. People have really been wanting us to do questions, so I wanted to ask you yeah, a couple. Yeah, let's go. Um, uh, another one. How do we meet? Was it as magical and romantic as I imagined? Still a better love story than Twilight. Hmm. Well, yeah, but uh, I don't know. It was on Wizard Wars, was it? I can't even. It was on. Feels Wars. like it. Yeah, but we wouldn't really talk there much, I guess. Not much. A little bit, yeah. 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 It wasn't, it, so actually, no, it wasn't magical at all. It was kind of just like a, hey. Yeah, it's kind of in passing. But, well, was it Quebec that we really started becoming buddies? Like that it Quebec was, It was at the Quebec Magic Festival. That makes sense to me. Yeah, the, yeah. I remember having old fashions with you. Yeah. yeah. And we shot that uh, that one video. Eric That's was there, right. the three of us. Eric Eric is better, uh, he's better at dragging two friends together than Spidey is. Spidey is like great introducing you, but Eric is like, no, you're going to like each other. Like, <laughs> yeah. cool. He's more... <laughs> or at least you're going to both find him entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. You know, there's a bunch of these, and, and, and they're, they're, just, they're also regular. Okay, would you rather have All Star by Smash Mouth play every time you orgasm, or every time you orgasm, hear All Star by Smash Mouth? So it's the same thing. 
Well, no, if I, if, if I hear it, I will orgasm, or when I orgasm, it plays. Oh, um, definitely the latter. I want to, I want to just be able to turn it on and bust a nut. That's what I want. Yeah, but then you also don't want to be able to hear it and bust a nut when you're not looking to. Uh, but I'm always looking to bust a nut, Chris. I, I guarantee you you're not always. I, I feel like <laughs> yeah, I, I guess... can find a few times where you're just not looking to find bust a nut. <laughs> If your if your friends knew you had that ability, next time you go meet someone's kids or something, they're just hey like, now. <laughs> You're okay, yeah, touche. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and then if if you I have both, like it never what ends. Cool, what a cool <laughs> just way never ends. to end the intimate the intimacy. That's true. By just breaking the ice. You know, sometimes that intimacy is awkward afterwards. What do you do? You hand her a box yeah. of Kleenex. I can't like, play that song you know, anyway. It's always an awkward. So be like, hey, that's something both of you to laugh about. You can enjoy a lovely song while you're chilling in bed. I mean, maybe who you're wouldn't be impressed by that music coming from nowhere? This is true. That's true. Yeah. Way okay. more impressive than busting a nut to Smash Mouth is having <laughs> Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth magically play after you busted a nut. That's true. Yeah. The other one is the more I think about it, the creepier it is. I was just thinking of being home alone. Just being like, just hitting... On yeah, repeat, yeah. eh? Hey, now. But uh, I forgot that I'd go out into public eventually. The yeah. pandemic's fucked me. Well, Somebody. that was the last of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> look, at the, uh, or look at some of this. Um, I've got some random weird texts. Just just for you. Wow. You see that? Who's that yeah, from? Yeah, man. Just random numbers. And then this one here. Wow. Like, it uh, came in yesterday. Is that from... The billboard there's prank? Two, maybe they're just two random numbers, but I was like, whoa. Like, Possibly that is from like, the billboard prank. Yeah, I've gotten a few calls recently. Yeah, maybe it's just spiking a little bit somewhere because I've gotten so a few random what things. What he showed me was like a bunch of racial slurs. Yeah. We won't say. Yeah. Because but you it probably like, know them and we can just we can just move on. Um, but yeah. The fact that. Just texted me out of the blue. Yeah, the fact that you. Uh, yeah. Which makes no is, sense. It's super ironic. Like, I mean, <laughs> makes no sense. That's, well, I wouldn't use the word ironic, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's complete opposite. It's yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah fair. Like, I mean, fair. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What, <laughs> yeah, it was what, weird. What man. compels it, someone to text that to anyone, first of all, let alone? Yeah, Wes just me. Parker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the extra from Saving Private Ryan. It makes no sense. Yeah. Uh, I uh, let's um. Oh, yeah, we should talk about last week. Uh, what was the lie last week? The lie last week was uh, me being good, me being a top 30 squash player. I was uh, going to call that out. Yeah, what was I the feel I like can't that one could have been two. true, but... Yeah, I mean, I played a lot of squash, but you, you got to be pretty fucking good. I'm just a regular... Yeah, a lot of people guessed but... that. I read the comments. A lot of the, uh, yeah. the guesses were... What was the other the one? The diving, the scuba diving, going scuba below. Diving. My buddy, like... My buddy Dan is a, is a beauty, and, and, and I was like, I want to try it. He's like, you're, he's fully certified. He's like, you shouldn't. And I'm like, I want to. And he just, he's like, all right, you're the, you're the one going to die, not me. And it was the craziest experience. Do not recommend. I was in a dry suit. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know how to let the air out of a dry suit. So when you go down to the bottom, uh, the, the deeper you get in water, like the more the dry suit crushes in on you, right? So you got to hit this little button on the chest to like add air to it so it doesn't like crush you, right? Because it's pressure. The more you get down, so we're getting down, we're going deeper and deeper. And I'm like, this is amazing. I keep adding air to my dry suit, so I feel pretty comfortable on the way down. And then we get to the bottom, we're chilling, and then Dan, he looks at me, he's like, eventually we got to go back up, right? So we start going up, and then I'm like, oh shit, there's a way which we didn't, I, I guess we discussed on the top, I wasn't listening, but I don't know how to let the air out of the dry suit. So I've added all this air. So on the way back up, my suit starts going like, you have to go up slowly because you have to like, yeah. You know, if you just go straight up, you're going to get the bends, right? So we got to go up and we got to stage and hold at different like levels. And we start going up and my suits start going. And I don't know how to let the air out. And Dan's here and I start going up. And I'm like, and then by the time we hit like 60 feet, I'm going up like a fucking cork now. I'm like, and, I, and all I remember is he's like, if you're coming up too fast, like you don't want your lungs to explode. So he's like, exhale as hard as you can. So I'm like, yes, I'm like, blowing out and dude there's so much air coming out of my lungs it was like a goddamn magic trick i'm just pumping out and i'm going up and my suit's this big and my lungs the air is expanding as fast as i'm exhaling it so you i'm like fire hose, 
Yeah, fire hosing arrow, and I pop up like a cork. I'm sure I'm dead, and I'm just up there, and like minutes later, several minutes, Dan finally works his way to the top, and he's assuming to find me just like unconscious and floating in the water, and he gets up there, and I'm I'm okay. What was I mean, his I was reaction? Like, I was like doing this, trying to stay down. Like it was crazy. His reaction was like, what the fuck, man? I, we went over this shit. I knew it was a bad idea. And he's like, we've got to get you out of the water. You're fucked and all this. He was still panicking all the way to where we were on dry land. how were you? Were you fine? I was honestly fine. This is just a myth. But it could have been so bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a myth. Yeah, go try it. It's a myth. You proved it. But wrong. yeah, man. Oh, fuck. It that was so scary. That scares the daylights out of me, man. Scuba diving is a terrible, like, I, it's super fun. I like doing it in tropical places. You go down like 30, 40 feet, you look at some fish. Cool, cool, cool. But like going deep, deep dives, I'm like, why are we down here? This is not us. Yeah. Let's like, let's, let's humans be up there. Fuck that. Yeah. Same reason. <sighs> same reason I don't do like motorsports or any yeah. extreme sport. I feel like I get it, man. I get it. I really, really get it. Cause I've tried, like I've done, you know, I've done the parachuting thing once. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I know. I get it. I've driven in fast car. I understand. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, anything go wrong. Still I know. not worth it to me. A lot of people are like adrenaline. Yeah, hook me up. Better than living. For me, I'm like, <laughs> it's not better. It's not yeah. better than living. It's not even close, actually. So it's like a no brainer for me. Yeah, for anything, and I'm a boring like that. But like, I live next to fucking ski hills. I've never skied in my life. Not yeah, the ski, not once. I mean. We diverge here, buddy. I'm with you on certain things. Like, I'm not about to rip motocross on a dirt bike, but like I'm skiing every single year, cat to skiing backcountry. Did you ever break or sprain something while skiing? No. You haven't? No. Okay. I'm, I'm, I've been right. really good skiing. I believe, Only I believe you. Yeah. But yeah, you, can, been, you can see where that question would go normally. Yeah. I feel like I'm, a lot I'm, of people would be yeah. like, oh, my wrist, I broke my wrist, or yeah, yeah, yeah I popped well, my knee out of place. Or, Kristen broke her wrist snowboarding and she won't snowboard again because she's like, fuck, it's not worth it. But well, I'm that's the so far. I'm not doing it the first time. Like, I mean, it's bound to happen. Yeah. It's just a numbers game. Yeah. Really. I mean, I probably had a little bit of, I probably had a little bit of a concussion one time skiing, if I'm thinking about it for real. Before? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that? <laughs> we just tried. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Blacked out, man. <laughs> uh, next thing you know, I was fucking at the bar and. I could just walk up on the floor. I don't know. Must have been oh. a ski concussion. Uh, God damn. I don't know. I think you're right. I mean, watching Eric on that sea or whatever they're called the other day, that was like, I'm like, well, he's going to kill someone. Scary. And there was no one on the water. And that someone was going to be him. And that <laughs> like, boat. I mean, yeah. we'll yeah, talk about I mean that. it could have been a terrible accident there. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I wouldn't mind getting on a race car and going on a track and driving around. That might be all right. There's uh, nothing on there. I'm good. You still end up. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. I'm yeah. zero interested in, I mean, I guess, yeah. you know, I guess I just don't have that gene where people like, I need that fix of adrenaline. Yeah. Because that fix for me, it, like, it doesn't cut it. Like, I feel like I'm, okay, I get it. So I where get do you what adrenaline off? does to me. So you're like, sex without condoms, and that's as far as you'll go. No, like that's, that, that's like for me, I don't, I don't think that there's that's any, the adrenaline rush. I don't think there's, I get <laughs> adrenaline rush. And yeah. if I was in a fast car or jumping out of a plane, yeah, adrenaline, just like everyone yeah. else. I'm not immune yeah. to adrenaline. Yeah. I just don't value adrenaline as uh, much okay. as the next person, I guess. I, I don't yeah. have, I don't see it being fun to fucking put your life in danger i don't know i just don't see the fun in it i'm like this is very dangerous and stupid and they're like yeah uh, but yeah. you get your heart pumping i'm like that's what it's for it's it's gonna pump <laughs> you probably your heart's gonna pump less now after that like, i don't know <laughs> I, i'm just yeah. fucking and i'm not there afraid i'm not even afraid like there's another thing like jumping out of an airplane i was zero afraid i was kind of pumped yeah. I was like okay yeah did it and i was like cool yeah check whatever yeah done i'm not like why do it again like i know what it feels like i get it it's fine so I, there is a theory that says you only get so many heartbeats in your life. <laughs> so right? why use them all really fast? Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Like I, the people that live the longest have, have lived a very, um, they don't eat a lot of calories. They move around, life. but not a lot. They're very yeah. like, you know, walk a lot, but don't run. You yeah. Know, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, live I was a late bloomer though, right? So I feel like oh, yeah. I've got like at least 10 years more than most people. Yeah, for sure. Just because like I, I, I'm a first chin hair at 21. My first armpit yeah. hair, I think it was 17. Holy crap. Yeah. I was super late to the game, man. Wow. Yeah. 
Chest Man, hair started how... growing at like mid twenties, and even then, like I'm like, yeah, nothing. Jeez. Like that's uh, I feel like because of that, I'm gonna start going bald at ninety. <laughs> you know, maybe live to one thirty. Dude, I, you know what makes me sad? The fact that we're gonna have to attend Eric's funeral and then live forty five more years. Yeah. You know, that's a long time to live without that guy. I Got mean, to find you, Eric. Yeah, or even worse is that we have to live with Eric 45 years before he dies. Ah. I mean, that's, you know. Hopefully, hopefully we can fix that on our TV show pretty quick. That's another thing, though, is like, is fucking, we went through the age of having girlfriends. Yeah. You know, went through the age of going to people's weddings. Right. And then going to people's, like, baptisms or baby showers. Yeah. Or all that shit. The next yeah. thing we're going to is Second funerals. Weddings? Oh, funerals. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I had, Ugh. I had like, probably like in my mid twenties, it was like every summer was like three weddings I had to go to. Yeah. Yeah. For a long period of time. And then like, it was like, oh, a uh, kid's birthday or something. Or like my buddy had a kid, we had baptism or like a party or something or, you know, shower, whatever it was. There was always, I was always hearing yeah. about it. And then now it's like all that's like just stopped. For the longest time, yeah. and a little it's pause. gonna be like this guy died, that person died, we gotta go to another funeral. Like that's just gonna be, it's kind of fucked. Oh. Yeah, that's sad as shit. I don't like that at all. I don't way to sad. go, way to bring it down. Well, I just I don't like going to funerals. Really? Let's do a dildo race. Nice. Oh, perfect <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most cheery thing I could think of off of the saddest thing I could think of. Oh, um, who doesn't get cheered up with a vibrator race, man? Oh, everybody. By the way, of network. Course. Did I mention this? Network said we can use vibrators. Yeah, but not dildos. Said, but they said we can't use dildos <laughs> on the TV show. Yeah. Um, so instead, we're going to get a vibrating Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo Baggins figurine. I got him in the mail. I'm in. I'll show right. you. I'll text you a picture. Holy I'm gonna make shit. A this is going to be great. Vibrating Bilbos. All right. Moving on. Uh, yep. <laughs> Bailey. You still owe me 50 Andrew. bucks. Dude, I thought we were gonna agree that uh, pretend that I sent it to you. <laughs> no. Fuck. You owe me fifty bucks. We can double or nothing. Oh, I don't know if I feel like double or nothing. Double or okay. Nothing. Okay. Um, there's Andrew and Bailey. Who you want? Andrew. Okay, and you want him to be uh, pink or purple? Purple. Andrew's taking purple. Okay. No, you know what? I got. Right. Oh fuck! I gotta stick with pink. Pink was yeah. my go-to. I gotta go with pink. All right, Andrew's got pink, Andrew's and that's got you. Pink. And I'm, I regret this decision. I'm, I'm Bailey on purple. All right, here we go. Where's the goddamn big money? Double or nothing, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, purple. All right, here we go. Let's see. You see it, Chris? All right, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. And yep. they're off. Oh my God. Oh, pink's pink out the shot lead. Out. Oh no. Oh, look, come on, look. Andrew. No, 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 no. Oh, no, come on, no, Bailey. No, no, no. Bailey, purple. No, purple, no, Bailey. No, what are you doing? Bailey. Purple's passing a bit. Wait, wait, wait. He's in the lead. No. Go, go Bailey. He's stuck to the side. Yeah, purple, baby. Yeah. Purple. Okay. We're even Steven. That was a good one. Oh. We're I'm even so Steven, buddy. Look at that, though. That was like a full... I thought he was going to come vib back. Full vibrator behind, and then... Oh, purple just went soaring by. Yeah. Bailey, nice one. That's a good nice. race. We'll pin you. That was a good race. That's a... Yeah. You blew your wad too early there, Andrew. Oh, well. But yeah, Andrew had a very long synopsis of why he thought I wasn't a top 30 squash player in Canada. It was like quite a... I was like, okay. Is yeah, it anything you. have to do with your body type? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it pretty much it was all about that. He was... Uh, <laughs> it was all about that. He was like, you're a short little fat fuck, and I've played professional squash before. No. Uh, he just said, I've known friends that played squash, and he's like... They're like 6'1 and lanky. And cover more ground. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It was it was he was working backwards from the other two. He'd heard me say things oh. before about different stuff. Yeah, like, Wes looks more like a guy who does shot put. Yeah, yeah, shot put or like um, Discus. like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like if you got fifty guys on a rugby roster, I'm number 45, 48, yeah. You know, somewhere in there. Yeah, or the, on the bench. Yeah, or the fucking curling tosser. Yeah, I can curl Art. for sure. Art. Yeah. Zamboni driver. <laughs> yeah, that's so... Oh, man. Yeah, curling. However they got the sweepers, I don't know, but that's pretty funny Curling's shit. Have you ever great. curled? No, I've always wanted to. 
Yeah, I've done it a few I, times. I've, I've, thrown, year, I've thrown a rock once. Yeah, it's uh, but fun. I've never played. It's a so game. much harder than it looks. Yeah, like, it's, it's so very much... heavy too. But I was, I was a lot I younger. Yeah, that's true. Right now, you'd just be like, dude, let's curl. Be, yeah. Dude, I'm in. That'd be great. Let's hundred percent curl. We, we should probably think of a curling magic trick. Throw it in our show. <laughs> yeah, or just do it like two v two. Sure. Us versus Alex and Eric. I feel like us versus them doing anything that wasn't playing music. I, right. don't know. I think that anything sports related. Yeah, Eric doesn't think, even have a lot of uh, athletic ability. Them. I have no idea about Alex's athletic ability. I've never seen him do anything. I, I mean, pick any sport. Yeah. Let's let them pick. Alex and Eric, if you're watching this, pick any pick one. sport. Me and Wes are going to 2v2 you. Any sport. Eric's, Eric's good at working out, but he's not good at sports. So, yeah, I'm yeah. in. I like it. That'd be good. All right. Fuck yeah. And on that, uh, we gotta do a, Well, we got to do a two choose one line. And then we oh, gotta that's leave. right. Do you got some prepared? Yeah. No. All right, so stand by. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do one. I'll do one. All right. Um, Chris Ramsey, everyone. I went to French school for seven years. The first sport I ever picked up as a kid was gymnastics. I once puked on a stripper. <laughs> These are. There is no theme, which I like, and. Uh, I don't even know if I even... I think I thought I knew one, but maybe I don't. This is interesting. Nice. I like it. Two truths, one lie. Figure it out. Let us know. Bailey will pin you. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming to Bottom of the Barrel. This is a good one. I, I like this one. This was I a good a one. Lot today. I feel like... Yeah. I mean, I feel like the response we get is always better than what I thought the show was. So that's always appealing. Yeah. That's always appealing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, it's, all, it's always hard because... You and I just want to keep talking about one thing, but we're like, eh, I don't know. It's yeah. Hard to know. I mean, I'll just keep doing this as long as people enjoy it. I enjoy yeah, it. Exactly. I'll do it. We're doing this anyways. Dude, I mean, I don't know how many episodes we've done together total, but like we have like all together probably getting close to 100,000 views. Buddy, we got 4,000 views on our last one. Yeah. On YouTube. That's crazy. That's pretty good. That's just on the YouTube numbers. That's really good. So, no, Andrew Thanks Schultz. For, uh, oh, by the way, Andrew Schultz. You know this guy. One last thing before we yeah. get off. Andrew yeah, Schultz. Well, what did you? He's fucking amazing. He's hilarious. Yeah. Like me and Wes went to go see him live, and this was before COVID, right? So like he kind of blew up during COVID. If you don't know Andrew Schultz, definitely check out his podcast on YouTube. Also follow him on Instagram. He does his, his Instagram shit's great. His Instagram stuff is killing the game right now, and Andrew is fucking hilarious. And so I write to him in the DMs like, "Yo, man, keep everything up. I love what you're doing during this. You know, fucking big inspiration." Uh, he responds with a picture. Of King Batch reading a script, right? Okay. So I'm like, this is late night, right? So I'm like, huh? What? And so I'm like, oh fuck, maybe it's a riddle. Maybe there's a clue. You like zoom in? Yeah, I'm zooming in. I'm fucking all this. After like five <laughs> minutes, I write to him I'm like, hey man, is this a riddle? I'm like, I'm too tired for this. Like, you know what I mean? Like. And then he writes back, he's like, oh shit, I don't know why I sent that. I'm like, thank God, man. I was zooming into that fucking <laughs> script for like five minutes. He laughed it off. He thought it was funny. I was like, that's the best thing to throw me off, is send me yeah. what looks to be a riddle to something. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like pulling out a fucking cryptex. I'm like a magnifying glass here. I'm looking to solve this puzzle. Turns out it's just a mistext. <laughs> funny story. I love it. Fucking great. That's going right. to end it. I love it. Bottom of the barrel. See you next week. See you next week. Peace. Take care. Down in the barrel, there's a naked man. A stupid drunk with a bottle in his hands. Along came a brother from another town. Took one look and he jumped right down to the bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Where we always feel so tall. Bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. Because the barrel is only too small. Second is better than first. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that.